Casper against Bobby Smith. They have feuded before. It's driven in. The Canadians hope to prevent the icing. They do as Smith quickly gets there. Messo moves it into McPhee behind the net and Casper back to check. Drive it out quickly on the right to Slager. Slager's pass broken up by Robinson back in the Boston zone. Ray Bork winding up. The Canadians wasted no time as Layler playing defense. A newcomer signed as a free agent. Here's Elaine Cote, 18-year-old rookie for the Bruins, firing it back of the Montreal in. Slager bangs into Robinson. And Robinson was looking for that. Smith trying to come out. And down in the ice goes Slager. And let's see what Frazier is going to call. Larry Robinson retaliated Fred on the check that Louie put on him in the corner and came right back with a cross check as he and Slager were coming out of the corner. You wouldn't expect that from... Uh, the assistant captain of the Canadiens, Larry Robinson, he's been around long enough and has been banged by bigger guys to kind of shake that kind of thing off, especially this early in the game. We're going to get a chance to see what precipitated it all. Watch Robinson here. He was looking. Look, he took a look. He knew he was coming. He knew he was going to get popped. Now watch as they come out of the corner. Well, we're not going to go far enough, but believe me. Robinson came right back after Louie and put the two-handed wood on him. So he's off for the cross check. The Bruins are on the power play. And they've been good on the power play. Linsman, Simmer, and Crowder out there with Bork and Kluzak. And Linsman for Bork to Kluzak. Just kept it in. Fire! What? Makes the block. Simmer behind the net. Trying to move it in front. And he's knocked down on the play by Chelios around the boards. Right point. Bork can't contain it. Always a tough job. And right on him is Ganey. But he moves it up. With help from Simmer into the Montreal end. Roy, the goaltender, blocking it. Crowder now trying to steal. Glinsman does. Glinsman cuts in front. Shot saved. Second shot wide. Glinsman walked out of the corner with it. Left point kept in by Kluzak. Kluzak checked along the line. Keeps it in with Glinsman. Great play. Now for Bork. Bork trying to move it across. And Carboneau blocked it. And Chelio skates it out. Quick power play for Boston. Not bad. Opening minutes usually uh, kind of tough to get the power play going, but Bruins moved it well, had a chance. Aaron pass. McPhee a steal. Fortunately, it is Deblois offside as Kluzak made that one, didn't get full wood on it, and the interception by Montreal. Well, Ken Linsman had a couple of opportunities on the man you're looking at right now, Patrick Rua, a rookie goaltender. Watch Kenny come out of the... Well, we're not going to see it. Kenny came out of the corner, got a good shot off, trying to use a couple players as a screen. He got his rebound right back, but really didn't get good wood on the follow-up shot and shot it wide. Three local boys in this Canadian lineup. Campidelli just called up with an injury to Rick Green, ankle injury. And he's out on defense now on the Boston power play. Telveen trying to set it in, rolls it near Roy. Peterson spilled, trying to get it. And O'Connell at the boards, and just inside the line, able to keep it in with Lukowicz. Lukowicz holding. They back off him. Still holes. Back for O'Connell. Up for Lukovic. Lukovic moving in. The shot deflected wide of Rua. Just missed the corner. Telvin trying to keep it in at the point. Does to Lukovic. Lukovic missed. But Telvin keeps it in. Holding. Now across for Peterson. Kind of fanned on the shot. It rolled off the heel of his stick and was easy for Rua. Well, you'd think the Bruins had a foam rubber puck on this power play the way that uh, Barry and Gord both didn't get good wood on passes and shots. Maybe hurrying it just a little bit. Harry had a good chance that time right in the slot but just didn't get the wood on it. Still though 26 seconds left to go before Robinson's out. Still plenty of time to get off some form of attack. Peterson Middleton Lukowicz it's back to Telveen. Telveen Right, a shot really wide. Middleton now checked by Chelios behind the net. Lukowicz with it. He's been busy. And, oh, hacked down. And Middleton had a penalty coming up on Montreal as he was cross-checked by Chelios. And it will be a two-man advantage for 13 seconds. Chris, Chris Chelios, one of the young and upcoming stars in the National Hockey League for defenseman. Guilty of cross-checking Rick Middleton right there. Not much of a, not much of a disagreement on that by anyone, especially Chelios. So the Bruins will now get a five-on-three situation, but only for 13 seconds. Then Robinson will be back up. Bruins have 57 percent 
power play conversion this season. Never kept that up. Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> the draw to Bork, right point, still a two-man advantage. Just briefly to Kluzak, back for Bork. Bork's pass in is stopped, and Ganey wheels it out. And his shot deflected wide of Keynes. Now it's a one-man advantage, and a signal from Fraser. He's calling a holding penalty, and uh, it looks like the sides will be even. Well, I guess Charlie Simmer is getting the call. Charlie had something to say to Kerry Fraser as he went by. You could tell just by the look on his face that he, he didn't feel like he held anybody. That is the call, though. Simmer for holding. Penalty coming at 239. Butch Goring, a little concerned. So we have Robinson for cross checking. He's back out. 224 Chelios for cross checking. And 239 Simmer for holding. Looking at Butch Goring behind the Boston bench. Each team short a man. The faceoff is to the left of Doug Keynes. Bobby Smith out with Naslin. Like to get Naslin in this situation. There's some open ice. But uh, Rick Middleton and Peterson out. They move it away to center ice. Peterson coming back. He's hit by, oh, a real knee in there by Naslin, of all people. And the Bruins coming back are offside. Naslin made it very tough for Peterson. I was watching Naslin as soon as he came on the ice. The first thing he did was took a run at Middleton. And right there, he got knee to knee on Peterson. That was hardly a hip check. That was strictly a leg check. Smith and Peterson on the faceoff. No score in the game. Opening minutes of play. Three minutes played. Ludwig up for Smith. Smith takes a hit from Simonetti. Gets it away to Naslin. Checked by Kluzak. And it's... Cleared away by Peterson, not out of the zone, and Robinson keeps it in. Robinson hit by Simonetti off the puck, but big Bob Smith gets it and then over skates. Back comes Peterson. Center ice, each team short of man. Middleton, left wing, over the line. Cutting across in front, broken up by Robinson. Robinson able to clear it out, and Bork takes over. Simonetti now passing it up, but it is Robinson with it. Robinson clears it in. Ray Bork deep. And Simonetti starting it away. Bork has trouble against the tight four checking. Simonetti carrying up. Stopped. Now Bork. Bruins can't get it started against this aggressive four checking led by Deblois. Winding up. Bill Delego. Delego finds the open man. It's Marquardt over the line. Coming in Ludwig. Stopping. In front, it's a shot on Roy. And Delego cutting, tried to tip it, didn't reach it. And the Canadians work it out to center ice. Up over the line, Deblois. Deblois can't move it in front. They haven't had a shot on Keynes yet. In deep, a hit by Marquardt, and he flattened Deblois. And Marquardt back right wing side. Over the line, drops it off for Bork. And what a hit by Campanelli, the rookie. From Cohasset, Boston College. Bruins keep it in. Deblois, screenshot. It is blocked. And uh, heavy action in front. It is Ludwig and Marquard. They'll both be going out, or maybe just Ludwig. Well, Marquard skating for the penalty box, too. With some help from Gord Brossicker. Gord had a good hug on him to make sure that he wasn't going back. Well, one thing's for sure. Nevin Marquard has come out determined that... Uh, He's going to mix it up as much as possible and take the body as much as possible, Fred. Which is good. You need a lot of physical players. He plays with abandon. Full speed ahead. Full throttle, Nevin Marquardt. Maybe if he could develop a little change of pace and a scoring touch. But he just is going at full blast. Two minutes each high sticking. Ludwig Marquardt. The teams are at full strength. New rule this year. Carbono out with Ganey and Nyla. No score in the game. And the Canadians do not have a shot yet. Four checking. Shot on Keynes, that is. Ganey clears it away. Back for it, Mike O'Connell. Mike O'Connell is checked by Carbono and forced back. The puck rolled near Keynes. Nyla behind the net. Trying to center it. Bruins can't clear it out. Now O'Connell spun down by Nyla. He's going out. Delayed call. Bruins trying to work it out. 
And finally they are stopped and Nyland out for hooking Mike O'Connell. With the score of Austin nothing, Montreal nothing, Bruins hockey will continue in a moment. Good sign. The big guys are tough guys from Montreal. Don't want to play the rough stuff. Chris Nyland, after being checked by Mike O'Connell, came right back out right in front of Kerry Fraser and put the hook on him. So the Bruins are back on the power play. For some reason, the Canadians uh, still think the big bad Bruins exist in the garden. Kuzak rolls it in from center ice. And into the corner goes Lindsman, Crowder. They battle on the boards. Still a battle. McPhee, uh, Lawler, rather. Lala clears it away and Robinson breaks it out with Smith. Smith killing some time. Moves it up and it bounces for Boston. Crowder with it. And that was a Canadian who knocked it over the line. It should have been onside and Bork protests. That came off a Canadian stick back in the zone. And Brassica says, no, wait a minute. He's explaining it to Lindsman. And Frazier agrees with him. Well, uh, Butch Goring isn't in agreement. Butch almost came onto the ice through the door. That was a Canadian who knocked it back in his own zone. And so that nullifies the Bruin being offside. Power play Boston. Kluzak clears it in. Bruins didn't win that argument. Into the corner. Lindsman with it. Back for Bork. Bork for Kluzak. Kluzak. A lot of speed shot. Tipped by Simmer. Went wide of Roy. And Simmer wheels with the stick and almost caught Robinson. Oh, the play is very, very tough and chippy in this one. Simmer chin to chin with Robinson. He's uh, angry, obviously, at something Robinson did. He whirled near the Canadian net and almost caught Robinson flush. Well, in case you missed it the first time, we're going to see it now. Watch Robinson. He's got the stick, the push on Simmer, the stick up behind the jersey, and Charlie came wheeling around with the stick. Surprisingly, Kerry Fraser called nothing. Normally, when the sticks start moving like that, he's the first one to blow a whistle. He's without a doubt one of the best, if not the best, officials in the league. And he usually stays on top of things. You can almost count that a Kerry Fraser refereed game will not get out of hand. Canadians with a new coach, John Perron, but the same style. You have to remember the Canadian success starts with defense. Boy, they are defense-minded here. This is not Detroit the Bruins are playing. There's checking. Power play, though. Peterson off the middle and back for Peterson. Oh, behind Lukowicz, who is open. Peterson made the pass across. Peterson keeps it in. A hit to Middleton. Couldn't handle it. Alone in front. And Ganey skates it away on the Boston power play. Ganey, killing time. Checked by Talvin. Now it's jammed up by Carbono, And he gets the faceoff outside the line, says Frazier. Well, close, but it isn't good enough in this case. The Bruins just inches away of completing scoring plays twice. Good play from Middleton to Peterson, who tried to set up Lukowicz, but Morris, who was flying toward the net off the right wing, the pass was behind him. And then Peterson set up Middleton in front, but Rick couldn't handle the pass. Carbono wins the faceoff. He and Ganey, top defensive specialists, they're out there now as penalty killers. As the Bruins try to get a score in a power play. O'Connell rushing. Getting away from Carbono, but bothered all the way by Carbono. Forced a pass that Lukowicz able uh, to poke to the corner. Robinson there lost it to Lukowicz. Played back to O'Connell. Back in, stopped by Robinson. And cleared away. Defense, the name of this game. Eight seconds on the Boston power play. Telvin fires in. Wrapped around the boards. Fought for. Ganey clears it out. Winding up O'Connell, full strength, the Canadians. Carbono wraps it in. Steve Rooney out of Canton and Providence College. Can't get it, but he crashes into Keynes. And Keynes has lost his stick and uh, 
shaken up on that one. Corson gets it over the line to Rudy. The shot goes wide and out of the zone. Keynes takes a stick from uh, Simonetti. Nice play by Frank. Frank going to try and glove it. Hand passes it back to Keynes, and what a heavy play by Simonetti. Gave Keynes the, his stick and then made a hand pass to get a whistle. Frank Simonetti, who was slowed down during training camp by about by mononucleosis. You wouldn't expect him to come back for a while, let alone play effectively, but heads-up play on the part of Simonetti, who has played well the first two games and now into the third game of the season. For the Canadians, they have a rookie, Shane Corson, at center on the draw. And Rooney gets it back for Kerbers. Flipped in the Boston end. Eight minutes played. No score in the game. No shot on Keynes yet. Chelios rolls it in now. Tip wide. Loose. And a backhander just wide by Corson alone in front. As the Canadians at full strength try to put the pressure on, Slager gets it out. Casper breaks. Casper over the line. Fires. Deflected over the head of Roy in goal. His second game of the season for the Canadians. They, like the Bruins, are undefeated. Donnelly fighting to keep it in. Can't do it. Corson a hit on Simonetti as he rolled the puck in. Chelios trying to work it away. Up for Naslin. Naslin off to a fabulous start for the Canadians again. Now to Ryan Walter. Trying to work it out. Slager intercepts. And he's over the line with Chelios falling down. The shot and a save by Roy. And the follow-up, but he can't get the loose puck. Chelios fell down, gave Slager a break there. But they couldn't capitalize. And Cote breaks up Naslin. Curvers trying to move it out. Stopped at center ice by Ray Bork. Bork for Cote, who moved nicely, got into position and moved it off for Marquardt back in front. Deblois, and he tried a pass and a stop by Campanelli. A deflected shot from the left point by Bork goes wide. Cote trying to keep it in, and he can't. And breaking now, the Canadians. Richet, a rookie, over the line, moving, fires in. First stop by Keynes as Richet puts it on. 10.42 left. And Bork breaks it out. A Canadian knocked down on the play. Bork, a good chance with Delego. And with Nienhaus. And Bork goes for the shot. Wah, Hallett lost it, but then ties it up. Good action at both ends of the ice. Richet with a chance at the end on Keynes. And Raymond with a good opportunity. And Rua, good hard shot. Had the rookie handcuffed. And he dives on the loose puck. Good move, too, by Louis Slager. You didn't see how he left Chelios in his tracks. But he got off a good hard shot and almost pried it loose to ram it in behind Roy. You looked at the graphic at the start of the game. I was saying, why are they calling him Roy? Why not Patrick Roy? <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not in South Boston. <laughs> they, uh, they're based in Montreal. Well, Red Fisher, who knows, said it's Roy. And we'll go with that. Smith, the clear away, blocked by Mike O'Connell. And fired back in by Lukowicz. Lawler trying to come out. All over him is Middleton. Jams him up in the corner. And gets a face-off. Aggressive forechecking by Rick Middleton. And the applause of what appears to be a capacity crowd, unjustifiably. Well, Ryan Walter headed for the Canadian dressing room. I don't remember him taking a hit, Fred, that warranted medical attention, but obviously he needs some. Either that or equipment. Middleton got it back, but O'Connell has to chase it to center ice. Mike playing really out of position for him at left defense, but he's done it. Paired with Telvin. Goring has gone with set defense combinations, set lines, with the addition of Durlego now. And here's Smith off for Robinson. Robinson over the line and looking for McPhee in front can't get it the puck goes in front right back out for Robinson who shot wide Canadians press Smith behind the net the pass in front Robinson gets it the shot the save Keynes and he kicked it away from McPhee McPhee ever got that he had an empty net Lawler back for it for the Canadians now there are the new faces for Montreal along with a new coach Jean Perron Jacques Lemaire just quit Smith over the line, off for McPhee, but offside.
This copyrighted program is brought to you under pay cable TV rights granted by the Boston Bruins. Solely for the entertainment of our viewing audience. Any publication, rebroadcast, retransmission, or the use of the accounts and descriptions of this game without the express written consent of the New England Sports Network and the Bruins is prohibited. Look at head coach Butch Goring. Pair of rookie coaches going head to head. Both teams 2 0. Oh. Both teams ready to play the physical tight checking game tonight. Montreal puts the checking line out, so Goring took out his scoring line and uh, puts his checking line on. Luzak rushing off for Slager. Slager over the line. Ganey checked him. Oh, really tight checking. Wings cover wings. An errant pass. Chelios gets it. Curvis now trying to move it up. Simonetti stopped that one. The Canadians break over the line. Carbono all alone. Shot. Oh, and a stop by Doug Keynes and Carbono. Carbono from 20 feet out picked the corner and Keynes had the glove. Well, Fred, Butch Goring never said, but I have a gut feeling among the reasons he had Doug start at the opener was so that he could have him go fresh tonight against Montreal. Doug just seems to have the charm when he plays the Canadians. What a great glove save off of Guy Carboneau. All alone, and he does not commit. He waits for Carboneau to commit and makes the save. What a beauty. Roa at the other end has had more saves as the Bruins have had a slight edge in pressure, but big stop. Out comes Slager. Slager over the line. Trying to beat Curva. Stops, cuts, and tried to drop it for Simonetti. Didn't work. And racing for it, Nyland Kluzak able to get it outside the line. Knocked back in. They say, yeah, finally the whistle. It was offside. 8.40 left in the first period. No score. And big stop on Carbono by Keynes. Best opportunity, of course, for the Canadians. One of their few. He was in cleanly. There's Doug. Working hard. And a couple of rookies out there for three rookies now. Corson, Mimoso, and Rooney align. Rooney came up last year out of Providence College and was a factor for the Montreal Canadiens. With this, Mimoso on the right wing. And the draw to Linsman. So the Bruins have the big scoring line on against a rookie line for the Canadians. Let's see if they can capitalize. Bork up for Simmer, off for Linsman. Tapped into the corner wide of Roy. In for it, Crowder. Looking for Simmer behind the net to Linsman. It drop pass in front. Rolls for Cote. Cote, a wrist shot in. Deflects high into the corner behind the net. Simmer trying to dig it free. Has it. Try to drop it in front. And the Canadians there to check. Mimoso stopped by Crowder. Can't clear the zone. Simmer with it. And the Canadians really all over the Bruins in the corner. Simmer knocked down on the play. Around the boards. Linsman with it. Linsman back for Simmer who's back up. And it's cleared by the Canadians all the way to Keynes. Not icing. Bruins had good pressure on the rookie line then. But could not get it in front. That rookie line really covered them. Good long pass connects to Linsman from Bork. Linsman was hit. Ooh, by Rooney and a heavy collision there. Over the line goes Deblois in deep. O'Connell checking him. Deblois tried to cut in front and was stopped in the play. And out comes Elaine Cote, the 18-year-old rookie. Long shot on Roy. He handled it. Dropped it off for Lala. Lala lost it. Deblois trying to move in front. Nienhaus trying to get it back at the right point. It is Telvin. Screenshot blocked and a breakout. All alone, Richet, and a little hooking by <laughs> Telvin stopped him, and no call on it. That's a break for Boston. Good play by Telvin. Now it is uh, a penalty coming up on a slashing call on Keynes. Well, the crowd's booing, Fred, but I do believe that Kerry Fraser has made the appropriate call. We're going to get a chance to see it again. Richet in for checking. Takes a run at Doug, who's out of his net, and there it is. Well, he may not like have... he, that looked like he was pulling his stick away. That, uh, oh, I... Well, he didn't, uh, he may not have laid the lumber on him, but he certainly made the pass at him, and I'm sure that's what Kerry was calling. Doug didn't agree with it. Maybe Frazier's just trying to lay down the law so there won't be much of that as the night goes along, because we're still just past the midway mark of the first quarter. Keens for a slashing 13-03. Faceoff is to the right of Doug Keens on the first power play for the Montreal Canadiens. 
Smith is out with Naslin, of course, on the power play. And at right wing, Mameso. Back to Curvis. To Naslin. Naslin. Back to Curvis. Along the point to Chelios. Chelios broken up and cleared by Casper. Canadians' first opportunity. No score in the game. 6.40 left, first period. Breaking now, Smith. Drives it around the boards. Mamoso clearing deep. Kluzak knocks it away. Kluzak going. Try and get it. Can't. Smith has it. Smith for Naslin. Back for Curvers over to Chelios. Wrist shot in. Didn't reach the net. But Smith with that long reach gets the puck. Now in deep. Mamoso back for Naslin. Oh, it didn't connect. And Naslin knocked down by O'Connell. And Frazier let that go. Luckily, Naslin did not get a piece of that puck in front. A minute 05 left. And back for Chelios. Now Donnelly out as a penalty killer, along with Craig Neenhaus. Naslin rolls it in the Boston end. Keen's out to handle it. Clears it up to Neenhaus. Neenhaus fires it out. No score in the game. First power play opportunity for the Canadians. Curvers. Away to center ice, blocked by Raymond Bork. Canadian started again. Curvis moving it off into the center for Richet, and Richet hit by Talvin. The puck and the play broken up and cleared by the Bruins. Roy starts Deblois away. He's been quite an addition, picked up from Winnipeg. Now wears an A, assistant captain. Robinson fires in. Off the backboards, controlled by Keynes. One hands it around. Mark Wad jams it up on the boards. Would like a face-off. Look out. The Canadians come out with it. Deblois does. Drops it in front. But Neenhaus is able to clear it away. And the penalty up. Good penalty killing by Boston. His break for Nyland. Back over the line. And it's ruled offside. And with a break in the action, let's pause for this message. Between the Bruins and the Montreal Canadiens, the first meeting. And both teams realize as they're undefeated, this establishes a lot. Ludwig clears, no icing, back for Kluzak. He's on defense with Simonetti. Kluzak starts it away. Carries now. Off for Peterson. Cleared in wide of Roy. Fired up by Ludwig. Caught by Simonetti outside the line. Shoved by Corson. And now Ludwig. Intercepted, the break here. Peterson may go in alone. Scores! Barry Peterson! Side. Held it on his forehand and beat Roy, and the Bruins lead 1 0. Barry Peterson, who had two last night, comes up with the first one tonight. He is back. We're going to get a chance to say it. He intercepts at the line and moves in. Right at the head of the circle, wrist shot, far side, over the glove. Good to see that familiar figure again, number 10. Ripping off the wrist shot, the stick goes up. Number three for Barry Peterson. Thirty-eight unassisted, he intercepted a Canadian pass. Had a bouncing puck, flattened it out in time, and got his shot away to beat Roy. Nylon out with Ganey and Carbono for the Canadians as the Bruins take the lead. This long clear is ruled an offside pass. 4.02 left in the first period, and Barry Peterson, with his third of the season, makes it 1-0. Well, that's got to be a welcome sight. There he is. This most of last season. Everyone's well aware now of the removal, surgery of a tumor. Worked hard to rehabilitate all offseason. Biggest question in training camp was, how long is it going to take for me to get my timing back? It's back. Canadians break it out. Chris Nyland is stopped by Bork. Knocked back in by Carbono. Bork on it. Around the other side for Cote. Cote pass. Stop. And Ganey gets it in front. Carbono. Carbono tried to hit the far corner. Missed. Ganey keeps it in. Back for Chelios. Shot tipped wide by Keynes, who looked cool and casual on that one. But the Canadians press and... Keep it in now. Bork trying to move it out. Can't do it. Donnelly's pass stopped. 
Bork trying to drive it along the dash. It can't. Chelios kept it in. Finally knocked down by Casper, and he cleared it softly enough so it's not icing. Curvis pursued by Slager. Gets away from Slager, and into center ice comes Carboneau. Carboneau broken up by Mike O'Connell with 3.12 left in the first period. 1-0 Boston. Naslin back for the Canadians. And the play broken up. A steal by Crowder. Over the line alone, though. He broke up. Lawler fighting to keep the puck in Kent. And Naslin, very tricky, moves it out with Deblois. Deblois to Naslin. Naslin stopped by O'Connell. And back comes Crowder with Lindsman. A lead for Lindsman over the line. Streaking, going deep. Now near the net. Holding behind. Off for O'Connell. A shot on a save. Roy. Good play, Lindsman and O'Connell. And O'Connell had it right on the short side. Crowder and Robinson got tangled up behind Roy. Lindsman started saying something to Robinson. Here's the mutton, Jeff, if those two were to get together. Kenny would need ten fingers to get up high enough to take a poke at Larry, Larry Robinson. Lindsman setting up the play, and O'Connell from bad angle got off a good wrist shot down low. Roy with the save, and there's Crowder and Robinson stuck in the crease. Veteran Mike O'Connell. I was thinking for years when Slager hit Robinson in the corner for that little jam. And for years, Robinson has been expecting O'Reilly and has taken all those <laughs> hits on the back, right? And he said, well, look, uh, no more of them now. O'Reilly's retired, right? And here comes Slager. Wham! <laughs> and Robinson, in retaliation, got a penalty. Peterson out. He has the lone score of the game. Barry Peterson, unassisted. An interception of a Canadian pass. Lawler is on defense. Green is out with an injury. So, Dom Capadelli, here's Lawler icing it. Canadians will do that. One goal, they say, stay within range. 2.28 left, first period, 1 0 Boston. And Here's a look at the bench, Fred. And, uh, new head coach, Jean Perron. Mostly 10 years at the University of Moncton. Moncton is uh, now farm team of the Bruins in the American Hockey League. Jacques Laperrier is the man over on the other side. The drawback for Simonetti, the shot caught by Roy. He clears it up for Mimoso, and it's banged to the Boston zone. Simonetti there, and right after him, Bobby Smith. And a race. He drops it off. Kluzak trying to move it out. Hard pressed by the Canadians. Smith in the corner. It's banged in deep. Kluzak gets it. Now Lukovic able to clear it out. Breaking. Peterson coming up. Kluzak. Oh, offside. Rick Middleton had to be, and Rick looks around. We're in the first period with the score. Boston 1, Montreal nothing. Bruins hockey will continue in a moment. out. Quiet from Toronto Maple Leafs. McPhee intercepts the pass. Stopped now by Kluzak. Kluzak coming back over the line. Clearing it in deep. Gallego going for it. Robinson two. He batted around back for McPhee. He's checked. The Bruins able to keep it in. Nienhaus. Nienhaus a shot blocked. He gets it again in deep. Trying to drop it in front. It's an aerial pass but Kluzak checks it at the line. It's knocked out. Simonetti controlling. Playing it over for Delego. A backhander in wide of what? one nothing Boston. Lawler starts away and gets it up to Corson. Shane Corson, a rookie. Out of uh, junior hockey. Clears it in. Blocked by Keynes wide. 117 left in the period. And it's Marquard. Block hit by Ryan Walter, and they started to jam, and Marquardt lost his stick. Puck rolls back of the Boston end. Keene's there, clearing it up. The dasher, and not out. Chelios puts it back on net. Deflected by Rooney. Saved by Keene's. 102 left. First period, 1-0 Boston. Elsewhere around the National Hockey League, Brian Propp's power play goal at 12:01 of the first period has given Philadelphia a 1-0 lead at Washington, and 
The Kansas City Royals live for another day. They beat Toronto today, Game 5 of the American League Championship Series 2-0. Nevin Marquardt always seems to find somebody, or they find him. Collision with Ryan Walter. Loss is stick and decided to tie him up a wee bit. That did not develop into anything as Nevin headed for the bench. And Walter got back into the play. I don't know if Nevin Marquardt can keep that pace up, Freddie. He's had a, a good dozen collisions, and this is just the uh, first period of the third game. Linsman and Richet. Richet, a rookie. Number 44. Linsman gets the draw for Bork. Back on the board. Stopped by Naslin. Shot in. Shot by uh, Richet. Missed the net. Right back it goes to Chelios and a save by Keynes. And back on the left comes Charlie Simmer and overskates it. And Crowder spilled on the play. Now Ray Bork with it. one nothing Boston to Cote. Cote clears it in. Back for Chelios. Simmer checking him. They battle at the backboards. Down goes Chelios. Puck stolen by Linsman. Linsman for Cote. Cote able to move it up to Linsman. Linsman into Crowder. Crowder in front. Shot. Save. Wah. Has Linsman cut for the net. Wah. Clears it. A lead. Back is Cote against Naslin. Here's a challenge. Naslin shifting. Cutting. The pass off. And the backhander is wide by Ruche. Ruche gets it again. Rolls it in front. And Crowder skates it off. Clears it up and out. Eight seconds left. That Curvers gets it back to Riche and it's back in the Boston end. The Canadians are offside. Three seconds left. So the Bruins should skate off with a one nothing lead on the goal by Barry Peterson. Some anxious moments around the Bruins cage just a moment ago. But Doug Keynes is able to come up with the saves when needed. Here's a shot in on Keynes. And that was Riche who was tied up by Cote right at the side of the net. And again, Keynes has to be quick. Canadians' pressure has come in flurries. Delego and uh, Carbono on the faceoff, but three seconds left. Carbono clears it in. And that's it. And who fights? Marquard going with Chris Nyland. Nyland and Marquard. Right at the bell. Nyland, seven year, seventh year National Hockey League from West Roxbury and Northeastern University. They are separated and uh, they'll sit it out for a while. Some lively action right at the buzzer. I tell you, I, I would bet on Nyland in that fight, but Marquardt uh, more than held his own. Now, now, Nyland's had an injury that might be bothering him, or maybe after seven years of battling everybody, it uh, <laughs> gets to be tough. Split decision. Yeah, at, at, at the worst. <laughs> and a split decision for Marquardt, I that's all right, yeah. That's I don't know what the uh, the boys on the corner would have had his odds on that one before it went <laughs> off, but oh. Nyla would have been a heavy favorite. Goal from Brian Propp, and can you believe the New Jersey Devils are off and running again? They've won their first two, and a Bridgman goal has given them a one nothing lead over the Rangers. Second period play, here's Fred. And Peterson in the forecheck on Lawler, the rookie defenseman, with uh, Svoboda injured, and also Rick Green. He's getting a chance. Middleton moves deep on McPhee, trying to get away. And the puck to Robinson. Middleton right on him. Middleton centers it. Covered up by Roy. And gets a fortunate whistle from Fraser. Face off in the Canadian zone. Good forechecking by the Bruins line of Peterson, Middleton, and Lukowicz right at the start of the second period. Boston leading 1-0. Elaine Cote playing defense with Raymond Bork. Lukowicz checking with Cote. With Bork, rather. Bobby Smith and Peterson. And the draw to the Canadians, Mike McPhee. In the center ice, he stopped by Lukowicz back checking. Buck rolls in wide of Keynes, though. And around the boards, Canadians press to keep it in. They do with the shot block. Follow up, McPhee. He scores on the loose puck. The Bruins faulty and clearing. And Mike McPhee ties the game at one. Well, that is something that the Bruins had not been guilty of yet this season, and their first mistake comes back to haunt them. They may have gotten away with it against teams like Toronto or Detroit, but not the Canadiens. Big V. 
Quick wrist shot. Now watch it come right back. And Doug is not hugging the short side. McPhee whips it right back in and beats Doug right along the post. I don't know if Doug was ready for that one. He's looking for it. It was quick. He just didn't get the pad over. Mameso gets an assist and Bobby Smith gets an assist. And pressure now by Deblois. Deblois gets it back for Ludwig. A shot and a save and a screen by Keynes. Quick clear out the Bruins and breaking Casper. Casper with Telvin coming up. Casper going deep. Stopping, cutting. Rolls it back for Telvin. Delvine keeping it in with Donnelly to Slager on the go. The pass too fast, couldn't handle it. And it's skated off by Campidelli out of Cohasset and Boston College. Three local boys on the Canadian team. One to one the score. Richet breaks in, moves, and a good stop by Keynes holding the short side, which is the only place that the rookie Richet could go as O'Connell was checking him. But he had a bead on O'Connell. Well, Doug Keynes is going to keep an eye on Richet as he comes in, and O'Connell's going to try to keep Richet off of Keynes. Doug was going to make sure that nothing got by short side this time and then covered up just for extra safety measures. Doug gave up a single goal against Toronto in his debut. It's 1-1 here tonight as McPhee has come out in the opening minute of play to get the Canadiens on the board. One to one the score, McVie for Montreal and for Boston Peterson in the first period. And the draw back to Chelios. Chelios fires and hits the post to the left of Doug Keynes. Bruins trying to get it back. Simmer can't get it. Chelios broke it up. And Chelios controls now uh, for Curvis. What for on the boards? Uh, Simonetti in front of the Bruins bench battling there. Help from Crowder and a faceoff called in the neutral zone. On that goal, Cote was covering in front of Keynes, tried to clear, and Bobby Smith was there and had a stick on it. Smith gets an assist. Mimoso also. So it wasn't entirely the rookie's faulty clearing. Smith had something to do about it, but McPhee had it back in the net before you could say Mike McPhee. Icing against Montreal. And a faceoff in the Canadian zone to the right of Rua. Gord Kluzak still has to wear that baseball, uh, football face mask to protect the mouth and dental work that was necessary after uh, catching a puck in the mouth before the first preseason game. That's the only thing that happens to him physically this season. I'm sure he'll be more than grateful. Amen. He's on defense with Simonetti. The line up front is Casper, Donnelly, and Slager, and the game is tied at one. And it's back for Slager. Shot scores! shot by Louis Slager as Casper got the draw back, and the Bruins take the lead two to one. Dave Donnelly was out in front of Roy screening, but I don't believe it touched anyone. It went right between the legs. We'll get a chance to see it. The draw to Slager. Now watch Donnelly head for the net. Louis wheels and fires right between the legs. I think Roa was a little bit too concerned with Donnelly and didn't follow the shot well enough. Louis wasted no time right between the legs. It hit a Canadian on the way in. And the Bruins back in front again on the Louis Slager goal, his second of the season. He scored the first goal last night in Detroit. Chelios trying to break, stopped by Slager. Simonetti moves it up over the line. It floats in, and Curvis gets it ahead of Casper. Curvis starts it out. Off for Carbono, and the Canadians offside trying to move in. Curvis in ahead. Oh, Louis Slager. I don't think you'd see Louis score too often from that far out, but he got a lot of heft and wood on it, and it was deflected along the way and beat Rowan. Sure, if Mark Quinzel, our director, gets the opportunity, we'll get a chance to see it again, Fred. But after that last look, I, I think that hit a Canadian skate on the way in. Watch. Right there. It did. Right off the left foot of the Canadian. I didn't get the number, but it changed direction enough to fool Rua. And had enough force on it. Over the line, Montreal on the move. 
play broken up by Simmer outside the line brought back in by Robinson and called for the offside. McPhee at right wing. At left wing, Momesso is at right wing. Boston leads two to one. Good, tight, taut struggle with the Montreal Canadiens, but the fans kind of are sitting on their hands. I don't know why. And breaking, Ray Bork runs in the crowd of it, gets the puck over the line on Lola. Drops it back right in the stick of Simmer. Simmer a quick shot from well out, and it missed. Usually, no matter where he fires it, Simmer puts it on net. But it deflected into the stands. The faceoff is called outside the line. About three minutes played in the second period. The Bruins lead the Canadians 2-1. to one. Peterson and Slager, the goals. McPhee for Montreal. And Butch Goring wanted a line change, and Kerry Fraser says no. And Goring says, why not? And Frazier wins the argument. Bobby Smith, former number one pick Minnesota North Stars. And it's the Bruins. Elaine Cote clears it in. Back is Robinson. Good pass. Off on the left, McPhee, Smith, lead for Mimoso. Rolls in near Doug Keynes. Keynes, the clear to the corner. Overskated by Smith. Lindsman trying to come out. Bork trying to clear it out. Can't do it. The Canadians keep it in. Smith, the shot, and he missed. Oh, he was well set up, just like McPhee, who scored the goal. At the left point, the puck kept in by Lawler. To Smith, the shot blocked wide by Cote. Cote looking for Simmer. Simmer jammed. The puck rides to the Canadian zone. Lawler back ahead of a streaking Lindsman. Up for Mike McPhee. At center ice, stopped by Bork. Bork spilled by Smith. And Crowder over the line, and they call the offside. 16-21 left in the second period. 2-1 Boston. Well, the last three Canadian shots on Doug Keynes. The goal by McPhee, the post by Chelios, and then Bobby Smith shot. They're all going to Doug Keynes' glove side, Fred. i got to guess uh, that between periods, whoever's upstairs must have said, look, we can get this guy if we go uh, glove side. And that's exactly what they've set out to do here in the second period. O'Connell clears in. Capitelli from Cohasset gets it off to a, another rookie, Riche. Riche, center ice, pounded all the way by Casper. Now it's Ludwig clearing it in. Wide of Keynes. Back first. Telvin around the boards. He connects with Slager to Casper. Good break out here. Donnelly up. Off for Donnelly. Donnelly fires off the side of the net. Slager in the corner. Trying to make his play. Checked by Ludwig. Still battles. Drives behind that net. He wheels it off for Casper. Donnelly hopped over his stick. He was loose in front. And the Canadians, Riche, breaks it out for Naslin. Naslin in. A shot, a save. Keynes. Naslin drives it back. And Capadelli can't contain it. It was much too hard for him. Capadelli right back for Naslin. Good pass. Naslin checked on the play by Telvin. Telvin bats it up, but not out. Now it goes to Donnelly. Now Casper with Middleton over the line. Casper fires. Save Roy. As Steve Casper put that right on the net from the right wing side. Forehand drive. Puck cleared away. Racing for it. Lucien Deblois checking him. Simonetti. And Deblois gets away. Then is broken up by Kluzak. But Deblois gets it back. Pass in front. Naslin loose. Couldn't get it. Bruins. Kluzak breaks it out. Gets away from Naslin. Gets it over the line. Trying to move it right in. It's stopped by Chelios. Follow up Middleton. A shift. Moving in. Can't get the shot away. In the corner. He's checked in the play. And the Canadians trying to move it out. Ryan Walter with it. 2-1 to one Boston. 14-42 left in the second period. Pace picking up as Walter gets it away. Over the line for Rooney. Rooney hit by Simonetti and Kluzak. They get out, but they get it out. They sandwiched Rooney, Kluzak, and Simonetti. Out center ice up for Peterson. Peterson has a goal. A lead for Middleton. He can't connect, and the Canadians sweep it away. Kluzak back. Chased all the way by Corson. Balls down in the corner, and a face-off call to the right of Keynes. With the score, Boston 2, Montreal 1. Bruins hockey will continue in a moment. Who's? 
Oh, yeah, okay. Here are the Bruins and a scoring opportunity there. A hard drive by Casper and a save by Roy. And the line for the Canadians now. It's Carbono with uh, Ganey and Nyland on the wings. They're all purpose line. Puck in front of the net. Bork knocks it away for Marquardt. Marquardt up the left wing side. Rolls it in. And it is skated off by the Canadians. Lawler, the defenseman, fires to the corner, gets the rebound in front, swept away by Bork. Bork trying to make the quick clear out. Can't. Now able to kick it out. Pokes it up. Blocked. Ganey on the puck. Ganey clears back in the Boston end. Keens out of the net ahead of Nyland. Around for Cote. Good pass to Delego. Look, he's something else, I tell you. Plays with a great deal of poise. He's on there with Raymond Bork. Off to Bork now. Up for Marquard with Delego. Delego back for Marquard in deep. Trying to center it. It is blocked. And the Canadians start it back out. Guy Carbono at center. Two to one Boston. At the line, the play offside, 13-20 left, second period. The Bruins in front, 2-1 goals by Peterson and Slager for Montreal McPhee. Elsewhere in the National Hockey League, New Jersey leading New York. Rangers, that is, at the end of the first period by a score of 2-1. And into the second period, Philadelphia now has taken a 2-0 lead over the Capitals down in Landover, Maryland. Washington, losers of their first two, trailing here in their third game, 2-0 to the Philadelphia Flyers. Smith out with Bamesso and McPhee on the wings. The Boston line, Linsman, Crowder, and Simmer. Simmer going into tonight's action. Top point man, National Hockey League. There's four goals. Naslin of the Canadians has four. At center ice, Linsman breaking over the line. Cappadelli after him. Linsman moves to the corner. Checked by Cappadelli and held off the play. Ludwig trying to move it out. Crowder couldn't get it. And out it goes to Mamoso. Mamoso coming up right wing side over the line. Watched by O'Connell. The shot deflected wide by O'Connell. At the backboards, McPhee with it. A collision in the corner. Smith, or rather uh, Campidelli, knocked down. Here's Simmer coming. And they've got a forward on defense. Four-man rush, Boston. Off for O'Connell, the shot. And it hits Simmer and went wide. Never reached the net. It was going on net. And the Canadians break it out. Mamoso spilled on a penalty coming up on the Bruins. Crowder, I believe, for tripping at center ice. Hooking, they say. And Montreal, a power play. Well, Keith Crowder knew it. As soon as he made the play, he turned around and saw Kerry Fraser's arm up. Penalty coming at 7.31. Keith Crowder off for a hooking. Going to get a look at Mike O'Connell's bid to burn Patrick Roy. A Montreal goaltender shot on goal, but hit Charlie Simmer. Never did get to the cage. And the first penalty, second period. Crowder for hooking at 7.31. Scoring in this period, 33 seconds in. McPhee from Mimoso and Smith. And then at for the Bruins at 1.53. Louis Slager is second of the year from Casper. Power play for Montreal. Naslin out there. Aslan on the puck, able to keep it in. Devlois, Curvers, fire it deep. Keynes blocks it. Up the dasher, looking for Casper. Curvers, able to keep it in. Naslin is checked by Kluzak. And Naslin now has it. Breaks away, cuts in, right across in front. And it was blocked on Richet. Oh, the cheers of the night. Wild there as Naslin came in. And you have to watch him all the way. And he found Richet uncovered across. And Keynes. Beautiful stop. Back comes Curvers. This one is on side, and Keynes has to play it as it rolls in deep. Richet after it, a rookie. Hit by Kluzak in the corner. Dug out. Nienhaus trying to clear it. Can't. Now it's knocked away by Kluzak. 1.14 left. Canadian power play. 2-1 to one Boston second period. Deblois back. What an improved player he has been since the Canadians acquired him from Winnipeg. Puck around the boards, not out. Kluzak able to cover it, though. And with a long reach, he's able to cover a lot of ice. 55 seconds left. Bork comes out with O'Connell. And up front, Craig Nienhaus and Nevin Marquardt. 
Out comes Naslin, over skates it, checked by Marquard. Marquard battling for it on the dasher, jamming it up for Nienhaus, who has it over the line. Nienhaus moving, puts it on net, and a save by Roy. Craig Nienhaus. Bid for a shorthanded goal, 30 seconds on the power play. Canadians coming right back. Mimoso is broken up by O'Connell, and Nienhaus drills it out. 10.50 left, second period, 20 seconds left. On the penalty to Crowder. And Marquard still out, and they break it up. Neenhouse and Marquard inside the line. Marquard trying to cut in. Couldn't do it. Checked behind the net. Kills valuable time in there. And forces the play to stay deep in the Canadian zone. Neenhouse helping them up. And they kill off the penalty. Smith winding up now. Boston at full strength. Smith off for Walter. Walter for Mimoso. Trying to get it back. Couldn't do it. Around the boards. Smith with it. Smith falls down in the corner. Moves it behind the net. Mimoso there, checked by O'Connell. Still battles. Checked on the boards. And the Bruins, O'Connell clears it out. It bounces to Lawler. Lawler checked by Middleton. Forced deep. Middleton doing a good job on it. Now Lukowicz moving in. Middleton centered it, but it was Smith getting back. And gets it off to Nylon, who just came out. Chris Nylon clears to the Boston end. 2-1 to one, the Bruins. 9.50 left, second period. Bruins killed off another penalty. Around the boards, it is Robinson at the point. The shot, the save by Keynes. Held the short side all the way. Simonetti out of the corner to Peterson. Peterson able to clear it, but the Canadians with it. Lawler back to Robinson. To Carbono. They wheel it in. Keynes clears it away to Middleton. Up to Peterson, who has a score. Peterson missed the pass. And down on the ice goes Middleton. And Nyland, Platinum, and Middleton is hurt. Nyland will be going out. Middleton hurt on that one. He's bleeding from the mouth, Fred. And Nyland is definitely going to have to deal with somebody before the night is over. Fans are angry. I'm afraid Chris Nyland has brought a lot of trouble this time. He's a chippy player, but he has bought some trouble this time. Well, if the crowd wasn't into the game before, they certainly are now. Nyla can't believe he's being called for anything. We're going to get a chance to see it. Nylon and Middleton tied up there. Oh, butt ended. Middleton right in the face. How can Nylon possibly say to Kerry Fraser, how come you're calling me? Should be an attempt to end your five yep. minutes. Without a doubt. A flagrant butt end right to the face. No need for that. And uh, Middleton was with blood on the ice. You could see it immediately after that. But ending is uh, for sure a major. Well, Nyland is gone. Fans dropping stuff down on Nyland as he leaves, but obviously when you see something like that happen to anybody, but especially a guy like Middleton who does not fight, who does not cheap shot, only plays uh, the game the way it was meant to be played, you can't stand for it to see anything like that. It's very upsetting. He might have had his uh, bridge work uh, knocked out as we look at uh, Jim Nelligan checking him over. And we're in the second period with the score, Boston 2 and Montreal 1. Bruins hockey will continue in a moment.
into the Bruins dressing room to receive some medical attention. And Chris Nyland was escorted to the Montreal dressing room. And I haven't heard the announcement, Fred, but I got to believe he is gone for the night. We're going to see it again. There's no question here as they break up middle it's headed up ice. And Nyland viciously butt heads. Ten minute intent to injure. Ten minute match penalty to Chris Nyland for intent to injure. Here's Butch Goring trying to restore some order and keep his team a little bit under control. There's a tendency after something like this to go out and well, try to knock anybody wearing a red sweater out of the garden. The idea is to make it work to your advantage now. But certainly that has gotten the blood boiling of every Bruin. coming at 1040 of the second period with the Bruins leading by a score of two to one. McPhee tied it for the Canadiens. Slager put the Bruins back on top a minute later. So this will be a 10 minute power play situation for the Bruins. They've only put nine up on the clock here in the garden, but that's only because <laughs> the clock will not hold 10 minutes. Well, a match penalty involves a suspension of the player for the balance of the game, and he's ordered to the dressing room. Ten minutes imposed. A substitute player is permitted to replace the penalized player after 10 minutes playing time has elapsed. About 9.20 left. They put nine minutes up there. The clock has no way. That, that tells you, I mean, you don't see a match penalty call. I can't recall when the last one was in an NHL game. But out goes Nyland. In the penalty box goes Richet for him. But there's 9.20 left in the period. So Montreal will play the rest of the period shorthanded. You know, you don't mind seeing good, aggressive, physical play, but to see something like, something like that happen angers you, regardless of who it happens to. There's just no room for it, no need for it. There is one match penalty where after five minutes there's a replacement, but there's no indication here. And this is called deliberate injury of opponents. And Nyland is out for the 10 minutes. Boston leading two to one. And Lindsman over the line with Bork. Drops it off for Kluzak in the continuing power play. Lindsman in deep around the boards. Crowder there. Crowder checked by Carbono. Around the boards, Kluzak able to keep it in in the Boston power play. Rolls to Lindsman. Lindsman trying to center it. And it is skated off by the Canadians Lola and a long shot on Doug Keens right on taking over is Bork Bork rushing in the power play now to Lindsman Lindsman coming on Lola cuts right in and couldn't get the shot away it just drifted in on Ruff made the stop around the boards Kluzak kept it in but Bork Bork screams one scores Ray Bork makes it three to one set up by Kluzak on a power play and of course the player for Nyland cannot come back. Well, it was just a matter of time for Raymond Borg. He has got a sizzling shot, and he's been getting it on net with no luck so far. Not this case. He whistles one. Upper corner, near side. Raymond Borg, first goal of the year, and the Bruins go on top, three to one, looking for more. Bruins co-captain has given the Bees their first two-goal lead of the night. 
That one has to feel extra special after seeing what happened to Rick Middleton. Still the power play continues. A match penalty. Game suspension for Nyland. And O'Connell over the line now for Telvin in for Lukowicz. Lukowicz clears it around the other side. He's on with Delego and Peterson. Now Peterson is at right wing for Middleton, actually. Deblois for checking on the play. And uh, Telvin, O'Connell. Work it out. The man advantage Boston for Michael Telvin. Over the line with Lukowicz. In deep. Holding. Trying to drop it in front. Deblois intercepts. And clears it out. 7.30 left in the second period. The Canadian shorthanded. A match penalty to Chris Nyland for butt ending deliberate injury to Rick Middleton. A steal by Bobby Smith. Slager getting back to cover. The shot. Keens covered the angle coming out. And the Bruins have to be wary of that. Some breaks by some talented Canadian players. That was Smith. Talene and O'Connell trying to work it out. Finally to Slager. Now to O'Connell. And O'Connell breaks away with Slager. He's over the line. He's in deep. Got to drop it. On the other side, but Robinson has it. Slager covers, keeps it in with a shift. Slager holding over for Telvin, up for O'Connell. Back to Telvin. Slager covering for O'Connell, a screenshot, a save by Roa. And now Telvin at center ice, starting the power play again, but just on the ice is Ganey, and he intercepts. 6.30 left in the period. The Bruins lead 3-1. to one. Would like to at least get one more. You don't want to be too greedy. Oh, why not? Neenhouse broken up, but Bork covers. Bork for Crowder. Good shift over the line. In for Neenhouse. Crowder, nice soft pass. Not hard, a nice soft pass on his stick. Good forehand shot, far corner. Roa got a piece of it, but not enough of it. Think he's happy? Uh -huh. You bet he is. First National Hockey League goal for Craig Neenhaus. Canadians wanted to put uh, five men out there this time, but uh-uh. <laughs> 6.06 left in the period. They'll, they'll be shorthanded. Carbono's pass stopped by Linsman. And Ray Bork starts back to Linsman over the line. Linsman drops it for Bork. Bork shot. It is blocked by Carbono. Bork and Kluzak. Gainhouse is first from Crowder and Bork. Bork trying to get away from Carbono, and it's broken up. Gady gets it. Gady, a shot, missed. Puck near the net, tied up by Doug Keynes as Gady as fired that one. It was Bork from Kluzak and Crowder at 11.40, the first power play goal. Neenhaus is first from Crowder and Bork at 13.53. Uh, Gary Frazier just called Ray Bork for interference. That's uh, refereeing by the scoreboard. Yeah. We're going to get uh, a look at what Frazier was looking at. Here's the shot by Ganey wide. Now Bork and Carbono get tied up going after it. Well, Kerry Frazier was right there, decided he better make a call. Can't say that it uh, was a flagrant call or an obvious call. That's one of those marginals. That's a big call, too, because that, that'll buy the Canadians some time to at least skate even for the next two minutes. And Butch Goring has uh, Bill DeLego out. And moving right for a shot is Smith, and he missed. Moving in. In the corner, fought for. Marquardt jamming it up. Good idea with Maslin there. Now Smith able to get it free. And with his size, he's... Created a problem, but Marquardt breaks out with it. 
Off for Delego. Delego broken up. Naslin right back two on one. He's with Smith. Goes for the shot. Keen's had it all the way. Oh, the save on Naslin by Doug Keens. A big stop. Each man, each team short a man and a long drive. Rebound out the front. And Delego couldn't get it. O'Connell fired and Roy coughed up the rebound. But no Bruin able to capitalize. Campanelli gets it to Ludwig. Each team short a man. Big stop by Doug Keens on Naslin. Boston leads four to one. Puck moves in and with it, Ludwig. And he's broken up by Keens. Another shot, a save on Smith. Doug Keens, two beauties. Ludwig and Smith. And back comes Delego. And his pass stopped by Naslin. And the Bruins giving up too many of those chances. And Keens saving the day. Holding off the Canadians as Kluzak has it now. In 43 seconds, the Bruins go back to a power play as the match penalty to Chris Nyland put the Canadians shorthanded. They got some relief with Bork being sentenced for interference. Here's Peterson breaking it up deep. 25 seconds, the Bruins get the man advantage. Ryan Waller works it out, breaking his Corson, clears it in deep, back for Simonetti. Around the boards, Puck rides out to the Canadian line. Corson and Kluzak with some chippiness, and Ryan Walder, too. The Canadians want to continue it. Four to one, Boston. Ganey starting back. Ganey on Kluzak. Kluzak stops him. The follow up kept in by Corson. He's checked. Bruins has the man advantage. Puck in the Boston zone, though. And Lukowicz trying to come out, and he's belted. Down, Ganey clears it across, and Simonetti with it. Power play back for Boston. Bork is out. Here comes Lukowicz. The clear in, and Goring establishes a new line. Carbono coming back. Carbono broken up by O'Connell. Crowder simmered to Lindsman. Lindsman check, gets it away for Telvin. Telvin hit. And the puck is cleared away by Montreal. 2.49 left in the period. The Bruins with the power play again. They have two power play goals. Lindsman is over the line. Trying to go all the way! And couldn't get the shot away. And Ganey comes back for Montreal. Ganey clears it in. And back for it, O'Connell. And let's see what's coming up now from Frazier. High sticking. A call against Boston. Middleton coming out. We're in the second period with the score. Boston four, Montreal one. Bruins hockey will continue in a moment. his best despite the fact that the Brewers are on the power play. Maslin stuffed. Now watch this one. Ludwig will move in. Great save by Keynes with the stick. He was down and out. But he and followed that one up with an even better one on Bobby Smith. Smith had a, had a shot right after that. Middleton is back on the bench. After some repairs, he took the butt end of a Chris Nyland stick in a jam near the Boston net. Nyland given a match penalty, which means the Canadians play 10 minutes short. When a player is injured like that, uh, and it's an obvious intent to injure, Gary Frazier could have, could have uh, allowed only a five minute penalty, but because of the degree of the injury, he awarded 10 minutes, and from what I could tell from upstairs, that's the first time anybody around here can remember a 10-minute match penalty being handed out. There's the penalty on Telvin. Got the stick up on Ganey, and Michael Telvin, the Bruins rookie defenseman out of Sweden, off for two minutes for high sticking. Butch Goring called a timeout to regroup the team now. Each team shorthanded. 
the Canadians with some good individual players and they like a situation like this and Linsman now in deep checking Deblois and it gets rough and rugged in there Elaine Cote along the boards battling Mimoso Mimoso gets it free now Cote Looking for a penalty as Bork works it out. Now to Linsman. Linsman over the line. And he's broken up by Curvers. Forcing the play deep, and Simmer has it. To Linsman in front. Linsman can't get it back for Cote. Canadians break out. Three on two. Deblois. Forced back by Bork. Did not clear the line. So regroup. Starts back. Works it over the line. Goes deep on Cote. Fires. Save. Keen save again. Three in a row by Keen's holding the short side. The puck behind the net. Nobody can see it. The Canadians move it in front and Linsman skates it out. 135 left in the period. 4-1 to one Boston. Linsman clearing it in. Each team short of man. Rick Middleton out now. And the fans yell. He went to the dressing room for repairs. For the Canadians. Deblois. Now Naslin trying to move. Naslin. Very strong on his feet. Gets it to Curvis. Curvis checked by Peterson. Each team short a man. The drop pass goes for Smith. Smith back again. Broken up. Peterson trying to break away. Trying to outskate Chelios. May do it. Here he comes. Oh, he's stopped by Roy. Barry Peterson had to make a big effort to get away from Chelios. He did. And Roy made the stop. Now well, Barry Peterson scored earlier tonight, picking up a a Montreal pass and breaking in alone. This time he had a longer distance to travel. Kelly's a good skater. And Peterson was still able to pull away from him. I don't think it was the shot he wanted to take, but he did have Kelly's coming up quickly. Tried to beat him between the pads. Ray was down to cover it up. And Kelly's got the stick in the shirt. That's enough to distract a player. And he kept his concentration, got the shot away, but his did not appear to be the one he wanted. And what a big stop. 55 seconds left in the second period. Four to one Boston. Capadelli clears it out. Stopped by Kluzak. Now Smith. Smith away to Ludwig. The clear in. Back for it. Kluzak. Good fake. Gets it to Simonetti. And he just cleared outside the line. Casper chasing Naslin. Now Ludwig starting back. Pass missed by Smith. Simonetti chases. Frank controlling behind the net. A long one up to Crowder who just came on. Crowder over the line looking for help. Deblois moving on and in deep. To Simmer behind the net. Ooh, and Deblois is crunched by Ludwig. What a hit. He's slow to get up. Very slow going to the bench. And a long clear in wide of Doug Keene's as Capadelli is flattened at the Boston line. And that's it in the period. The indications are 41 seconds left on that match penalty starting the third period. And at the end of the second period, the score, Boston 4, Montreal 1. Stay with Nesson for an intermission feature on Bruins rookie coach Butch Goring. And we'll also see highlights of the game so far. That's all coming up. Quickly. I don't want the Canadians back into this thing any too soon. Here we go, and here's Fred. Still a power play, 37 seconds left. Carbono is on Linsman and Simmer, and the puck in the Boston zone, and Carbono able to keep it in. Now clears it all the way back to his uh, defenseman, Kluzak and Carbono tangling. Puck cleared, taking over is Kluzak. Around for Ray Bork. Boston leads 4-1. to one. Off for Linsman, picking up Simmer, Crowder. Linsman for Bork. Shots. His second goal of the night. A power play score set up by Linsman, and it is 5 to 1 Boston. Well, that is just what the doctor ordered for the Bruins to come out and take advantage of the few seconds remaining on Nyland's match penalty. Nice drop pass here. That is a beauty by Linsman, and Bork hits it on the fly. I'm not so sure Rouen was ready for that. Even if he was braced, it was a dot. Bork, head of the slot, whistles one by the stick side, about halfway up. And the Bruins have a 5-1 lead and are beginning to look mighty special tonight. And Richet, who's in the penalty box for Nyland, can't come back yet. 11 seconds left. And on the move, Lukowicz for Peterson. Peterson in deep. 
cuts, tries to set up Middleton. Back in action, but the puck knocked away. And finally, Richet comes out. A 10-minute match penalty. Bruins picked up three goals while Nyland was out. And he's out for the rest of the game. As Kerry Frazier threw the book at him, there is one rule where you can get just... You can have a replacement after five minutes on a match penalty. But that was not allowed. No replacement. And back comes Richet, the good-looking rookie. Over the line, clears it in. Blocked, but Richet is on it again. Fires in wide. The rebound taken by Telvin. Telvin, nice move out. Gives it to Lukowicz on the move. Off for Middleton. Middleton back for Peterson. Oh, Lukowicz in front. Didn't connect. And McPhee starts back. McPhee to Richet. Now to Smith. Has to wind up with the Canadians changing. Curvis drives it over the Boston line. O'Connell on it. Chased by Corson. Gets it away for Casper, who clears it out. Curvis right, drives it right back in. Taking over, Cote. Now to Donnelly. 5-1 to one Boston. Two goals by Ray Bork. Bruins with three power play goals while Nyland served a major. A, a match penalty, sorry. And the Canadians coming back. Deblois on the right. Check. Bork fell down. Bruins control. Around for Slager. Slager to Casper. He can't get it. Naslin coming back. Boston gets it again. Has a million moves. Looking for Corson. That play broken up by Boston. And Slager clears it in near Roy. His first start at Boston Garden is second of this season. He's a rookie goaltender and apparently has beaten Sotart for the alternate with Steve Penny. Cote clears it. Canadian line. Checked by Marquardt. He can't get it. Takes the man out of the play. Durlego. Long pass back. Cote moves to keep it in. And then lost it. Battles. And the Canadians break it out. Chelios to Steve Rooney. He stopped at the Boston line on a poke check by Marquardt covering on defense. And Marquardt picks up speed. The kamikaze kid over the line. Cutting on the right. Slowed down. Oh, and he's crunched by Rooney as he moved it up the boards. And with it, Chelios. Chelios, well, his Rooney and Marquardt tangling. Uh, they break it up. Kluzak intercepts the Canadian play. Clears it up for Delego. Delego clearing in the Boston end, and Butch Goring making quick changes. 16-43 left, third period, 5-1 to one Boston. Three power play goals by the Bruins. And Richet is back. Richet checked by Kluzak. They broke it up by Simonetti. Simonetti fires it out of the zone. Robinson winding up to Walter. Walter over the line with Richet. Richet and Simonetti get on. And let's see what Frazier is calling on this. This will be interesting. Richet was the one that had Simonetti wrapped around the head. Richet was holding the... He had the headlock on Simonetti. And we're in the second period, third period with the score of Austin 5 and Montreal 1. Bruins hockey will continue in a moment. Judge, I won't tell you what's been called yet. Simonetti and Riche. All right, you're calling home. All right, here's what Kerry Fraser called. Frank Simonetti off two minutes for holding. That's called by the scoreboard. We're sending that clip of tape off to Ripley's. 16-18 hmm. left, third period. Boston leads 5-1, a power play for the Canadians. Smith gets it back. Try to drop it in front of him. I'll get it to the point now. Belly has to go back for it. He's on with Robinson, a rookie from Cohasset, Boston College, acquired in the trade with Toronto. Casper picks up a loose puck, kills time, and clears it up. Now Robinson starting the power play for Montreal. 
Capitelli moves it in. Fraser of refereeing by the scoreboard, but he's the best in the league. He is. But he is refereeing by the scoreboard. But uh, Doug Keynes had lost his stick. I mean, this is a crucial crunch time for the Bruins. The Canadians with a two man advantage can get right back in this with a pair of goals. Doug makes a save and it hit the crossbar. Deblois hit the crossbar. Now watch as Kluzak. Kluzak lays in the puck for about. <laughs> Half a minute. Now, Kluzak got a chance to clear it up, Ice. Here he is. Yeah. Didn't have control of it. Okay. I'll get down on it. Now, nobody is pressuring him, and Gary yeah. Fraser oh, sitting right penalty. there. That's a penalty. Fraser may have given him a break for it by not uh, blowing yeah. it. Yeah. So, he has to move it as they back <laughs> off. Nine seconds on that first penalty. Five to one, Boston. 14 26 left. Lewis led two to one. Next penalty went to Nyla. With three power play goals. Jim the Keen.
power play opportunity right now. One thing Butch Goyne has done as coach has uh, spread out the workload. It's not Ray Bork for uh, 40 minutes a game. Telvin overskated. O'Connell starts it again. Now to Telvin. To clear in. And it goes to Peterson. The shot. A beautiful save. Roy. As Peterson had it low on the corner. Telvin keeps it in. In for Middleton. Middleton behind the net. Check. Peterson with it behind the net. Trying to come in front for Lukowicz. He cut to the net and didn't get the handle on it. And Deblois breaks it out with Ganey. Ooh, and uh, Telvin just went right at Deblois. Deblois comes back with a cross check, and they let it go. And out comes Middleton. Power play on Chelios. Over the line. Holding. In for Lukowicz. Shot. Save. Wah. Lukowicz put that right on, and the puck is cleared by Montreal. 105 left on the Boston power play. Lindsman line on. Lindsman can't get started. Wind it up. Telvin. He's still on with O'Connell. Lindsman outskates Rooney. Outskates Smith. Over the line. He's hit and the play offside as he tried to move in. As Lawler got him. Well, the crowd was screaming for a penalty on Lucy and Deblois. Terry Fraser wasn't about to call it, but. Watch Morris Lukovic get off a good wrist shot. Right there, he snaps it off. Good save by the goaltender, Rua. Well, many stories in the game, but a big one right there, Doug Keens, in that Boston goal. Big, big saves. Several on Naslin, who can score with the best. Breaking, Lindsman over the line to Crowder. Crowder bumped by Smith, and he lost it to Lawler. Lawler check. Puck now to Simmer. Simmer can't get the handle. Lindsman goes behind the net in front. Trying to make a billiard shot in off Crowder. But Roy is able to tie it up. Now Lindsman ready to go. Oh, there's a stick. That was Rooney. Stick and what a wild melee now. Two men on uh, Rooney, Crowder, and Lindsman. And let's and Bork is. Wrestled down by Robinson. The others squared off. A wild scene on the ice. I saw a two-hander by Rooney right over the head on Lindsman. Well, for some reason, Steve Rooney is pretty upset. And I'm not sure what precipitated it. Maybe we'll get a chance to see, but he's ripping up. Of course, I'm surprised. I suppose they'll write it up in the Montreal papers how the Bruins are trying to intimidate and getting away with the cheap stuff, but uh, this is not the Canadians' hockey. Maybe it's just a new breed of hockey north of the border now. Well, Certainly well something enough. we can relate to. A couple of Bostonians creating the yeah. havoc. <laughs> Nylon, who was thrown out of the game of the match. Lindsman is out. And Rooney for sure. And let's see what the call will be by Frazier. Boston leads five to one, 11-22. Rooney goes to the penalty box and he's uh, yelling at the Bruins bench. And Lindsman goes to the dressing room. Well, I'll be curious to see what the announcement is. Maybe they call Lindsman for third man in for that. Must be it. Crowder and Rooney, I think, were the original ones to start tangling, even though Rooney laid the lumber on, on Lindsman, and they must have called Ken Lindsman for being third man in. With a break in the action, let's pause for this message. is now being announced. Rooney and Crowder will be getting matching penalties. They both get five for fighting. And Lindsman is going to draw a minor. 
Well, Lindsman draws two minutes for roughing in a game misconduct. Obviously, third man in mm -hmm. on the game misconduct factor. Rooney for a two-hander over the head gets nothing. Just the five minutes fighting, and that's took Crowder with him. So five to one Boston in, in a wild night at Boston Garden. We're in the third period. Lensman two for roughing and a game misconduct. Third man in. Rooney five for fighting. Crowder five for fighting. They did not announce third man in. Boston in front five to one. Each team short of man and shortly Carbono will be back and the Canadians will have an advantage. Shelly <laughs> Olsen, the play called offside. Shelly Olsen took that shot by Casper. Play offside, face off. Casper now on with Donnelly. O'Connell and Telveen, the Boston defense. Richet on with Naslin. Casper clearing in. Winding up is Curvers behind the net. He's on with Chelios. Two American born players in the lineup. Chelios, one of the good ones, and he drills it in the Boston end. Around the boards, it's a power play in effect now for Montreal. Telvin trying to clear it up the dash here, not kept in by Curvis. Curvis, Deblois for Chelios. Up to Naslin. Naslin back for Chelios. Over to Curvis. Curvis, shot block. Casper trying to clear it, can't. Deblois keeps it in. Now the play broken up by the Bruins. Casper is filled. No call. Boy, he might have had it. Might have had a breakaway. And Frazier lets it go. Still a power play for Montreal. You hear the reaction of the fans at the non call there. Back it goes to Curvis. Across for Chelios. Curvis again. Chelios kind of boxed in. They get it across to Deblois. And now in front, Naslin. Naslin scores as he wound up with the puck all alone in front. A power play goal for the Canadians to make it 5 to 2 with 9.57 left. Well, well little Matt Naslin gets that many opportunities. Sooner or later, it's going to happen. He's going to beat you. And he finally did get one in behind Doug Keynes. Naslin will take the feed right out in front. Now it's a matter of what's he going to do. He slides it underneath the sprawling Keynes. That time he was able to get Doug to commit. He faked the backhander between the pads. That's when Doug went down right there. Walks a little fake right there. Now he has Doug down and out and slides it underneath. As you can tell, the crowd not at all pleased with the non-call that subsequently results in a power play goal for Montreal. Well, as always, the feeling that Casper, of course, helped it out by taking a dive, but that's what players do. And a view of, well, the fans have been really on Kerry Frazier like I've never heard them. And it is five to two. And Middleton handles a pass from Bork, and he's offside. Bork protesting, but he clearly was. His skates were over the red line. The stick was back on the other side. It's where your skates are. The Bork to Middleton pass and the faceoff call inside the Boston blue line. Now they're throwing things on the ice. Rushing, Cote, good pass to Peterson. And it's in the Canadian end. Back is Lawler. Lawler starting it away, rookie defenseman. Clears in the Boston end. Naslin from Deblois and Richet, a power play goal in the Boston zone. Middleton able to drop it out. Racing for it, Peterson. He's bumped off the play by Walter and Corson winding up for the Canadians. Corson can't complete it. It's Cote with it. Cote over the line, rolling puck. Flips it in the corner. He plays with a great, oh, great head. The young man, 18-year-old defenseman. Rushing out now, Robinson, a four-man charge. The pass up. Kept in by Corson, checked by Bork. Into the corner they go. Bork down, Middleton. Middleton had it, lost it. Puck kept in, back for Ludwig. A long drive, wide. 
And the puck cleared out to center ice by Lukovic. Canadians right back. Corson flipping in the Boston end. 8.40 left. Third period. Keynes drops it off for Bork. Bork center ice. Flipping in the Canadian end. The goal, as we said, the Aslan's. Debloir and Riche at 10 0 3. Power play. 5 to 2 Boston. Slager breaks it up. For Delego. Delego trying to drop it in front. Rolls around the other side. Carbono moving it up. And the Canadians clear it out. Boston covers. With it, Mike O'Connell. 8 10 left, third period. Telvin drops it inside. Backward, Campidelli. He's checked by Slager. Puck kept in by Delego. Loose in front. Bruins can't get a handle to it. And away comes Carbono. Carbono streaking for Ganey. Ganey a shot. Good save by Keynes. And around the net. Kept in for a backhander. Also shot and a save by Keynes. And the puck tied up. Now Doug Keynes still coming up with the stops despite the fact that Naslet Got the Canadians on the board. Doug with a good glove. He had trouble with that one because there was interference out in front. A little slow getting up. Another Mo shot back on goal. Momesso on that one. A rookie. 7.45 left. Face off to the right of Doug Keynes. 5-2 Boston. McPhee and Naslin, the Canadian goals. Naslin, the power play. Boston with three power play goals. Two by Bork, one by Neenhouse. The other scores by Peterson and Slager. And Peterson on the draw with Richet. Deblois, Richet, drop pass stopped by Neenhouse. Craig with a goal tonight out. Off for Peterson. Peterson going deep. Holding behind the net. Swings all the way around. Drops it back for Bork. Bork clears in deep. Casper there. Casper. That was Bork. He's spun down on the penalty on Deblois. Delayed call. And now the call. Deblois going out for holding. And Boston with a power play. And kind of a mock cheer for Frazier for the call. Uh, Lucian Deblois, you can tell there, not too happy. He thought he should have gotten a call against Michael Telvin earlier in the period, and Frazier didn't give it to him. No doubt about that one as he spins Casper around and drops him. I believe he's going to get an unsportsmanlike conduct as well. Yep, he did. He can't believe it, but he knows what happened. So does Fraser whistled him off for the call. He stick handled the puck and then backhanded it to Carey Fraser. And as soon as Fraser saw that, he hit him again. So that'll give the Bruins a four-minute power play with 7:20 to go. Don't bet on four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I spoke too quickly. <laughs> As it reads on the scoreboard right now, four minutes. 12.40 the time of the penalty on Deblois. Bruins have three power play goals. It's back to Bork. Bork Patrick bid. And oh, what big save. Skates it off. And it's cleared by Smith. Ray Bork had a bid for a hat trick there. And he had plenty on that. And right for the corner. And what made the stop. This pass up stopped by Lala. And Lala clears it away. O'Connell and Bork are on for the Bruins. Up front, Peterson, Lukowicz, and Middleton. Barry Peterson, first score tonight, is third of the season. He's to center with Lukowicz. Lukowicz over the line. In front, Peterson, Middleton, score! Beautiful combination work. Another power play goal, Middleton from Peterson and Lukowicz to make it 6-2. to two. Ah, beautiful passing on the part of Morris Lukowicz and Barry Peterson. Lukowicz will get it started. He'll find Peterson. Barry knows that Middleton's right out in front. Lays a nice pass across, and Middleton flips it upstairs. Pretty play. Lukowicz to Peterson to Middleton. Goal number two of the season for Rick Middleton. And even more impressive, four power play goals tonight by the Bruins. That's the difference on the scoreboard. And Deblois still has two more minutes to serve. The clock just winds down to two minutes. The penalty clock, 638 
left third period six to two Boston Rick Middleton from Peterson and Lukowicz. Simonetti away on the right wing for Slager. Slager to Durlego. Durlego back for Simonetti. Simonetti trying to move in. Checked. Slager has it. Holding. Pass across blocked. And Carbono skates it out. Looking for Ganey. Ganey to the Boston end. Tapped around the boards and Simonetti with it. Now for Louis Slager. Off for Telvin. Power play for Boston. Delego at the line. The play offside. 5.55 left in the third period. Four power play goals by the Bruins. And the penalty. Box set piece. Coming out Rooney. McPhee. But not Deblois. Crowder and Kluzak out for Boston. Hey, we haven't seen Charlie Simmer in a while with Ken Lindsman out of the game and Keith Crowder in the box. As Butch Goring comes back on the power play, still with the Peterson line, and middle it over to get a new stick. Ray Bork and Elaine Cote. Very quietly, capably, Cote could very well stay with the Bruins. And launch a long and a very successful career. Young man has been a surprise. Played with Ray Bork, of course, doesn't hurt at all. And you're one and one with a lot of key people. Middleton can't move in on the power play. And less than a minute left on that power play. Middleton away to Lukowicz on a Bork. For Peterson, a little delay, and that one is offside. The best in women's professional tennis is on Nesson this week. The $500,000 Virginia Slim Championships from Madison Square Garden starts tomorrow night and gets set for seven nights of action. The 1985 championships featured Martina Navratilova defending her 84 title against the likes of Chris Everett Lloyd, this year's U.S. Open champ, Hanna Monlikova, and doubles partner Pam Schreiber. And the heat is on, so catch the best action on court on Nesson. We deliver. Bork fires in and went near Frazier, the referee, and that fans yell at that one. Around the boards, Lukowicz hustling for it with Middleton. Back for Cote. Cote is broken up, though, by Corson. Cote and Bork started again. 24 seconds on the power play. Raymond Bork. Off for Lukowicz. Drops it for Bork. Bork along the blue line, holding it. Now going deep into the corner. Gets it for Casper behind the net. Back for Bork. Scramble in front. Shot. Save one. And a penalty coming. Lukowicz knocked down in front. But a cross check was a call. Let's see who's trying to get this one. Lukowicz. No. Well, here it is. There it is. There it is. That was fairly obvious. And Gary, when you do it right in front of Kerry Fraser, 99 times out of 100, he's going to call it. He's not the type to let much go, although fans will argue that he let a lot of stuff go tonight, but a good official. So the Bruins continue. Well, here's Robinson going out. Are they getting two penalties? Robinson yeah. must have had something to say to Frazier about the call on Lawler. Well, now they're going to call it on Robinson and not on Lawler. Keep an eye on Robinson in the left of your screen. There's the call. He could have called it on both. So it's Larry Robinson out two minutes for cross checking. Bruins fight to keep it in. In the corner, Casper has it. Behind the net for Slager. Got a big goal tonight. Louis did. Louis battles at the backboards. Lost it. And Deblois clears it out. 4.23 left.
puck eludes Marquardt, nowhere near him. Icing called on Boston and a faceoff in the Bruins zone. Elsewhere around the NHL tonight at the end of the second period, New Jersey leads the New York Rangers 2 to 1. Philadelphia has a 3 1 lead at Washington. That's 452 gone in the third period. Toronto and Chicago are tied 1 1 at the end of one. Quebec and Winnipeg in Winnipeg tied 2 2. That's at the end of two. And at the end of the second period in Edmonton, St. Louis and the Oilers 3 3. Joe Mullen has a pair of goals for the Blues in that one. And the draw in the Boston zone. Ganey keeps it in. Bruins with a power play. Simonetti is on with Kluzak. Kluzak away for Delego. Delego picking up Simmer. Over the line. Lost control. It bounces high. Simmer trying to put a handle to it. Good. And Ludwig skates it off. Clearing to the Boston zone. Back goes Kluzak. Starts away to Delego. Kluzak again. Over the line by Carbonell. 